Hello everybody, I'm Jay Letter J. Today we're gonna to be playing with the Antelope Audio Synergy Core Native Plugins. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not on the couch today. I'm actually here in front of my computer because uh, we're gonna be tweaking some tones uh, with some plugins. I got uh, some lovely uh, plugins from Antelope Audio. Uh, it's their Synergy Core Native collection. So uh, the thing about Antelope Audio is like, for like the course of like many, many years now, they've been meticulously like putting together and uh, designing a, a wonderful collection of curated plugins uh, that pay tribute to some really iconic pieces of like vintage outboard gear, like compressors and EQs, all of that wonderful kind of thing, all the stuff that we can't afford. And if we could, we just couldn't even find anywhere because it's like too rare, all that kind of stuff. And it's a wonderful sounding collection of stuff a uh, really, really great down to the character and the nitty gritty stuff. But the problem uh, with the old Synergy Core um, effects was the fact that you actually needed an Antelope Audio like device, like an interface to actually use them. So you actually have to have their hardware. And not only that, but uh, when you use it with like your DAW or like your VST loaders, all that stuff, you actually have to use it in conjunction with the hardware app. Uh, for Antelope Audio. So you actually have to use like two things in conjunction with each other uh, to use it. So that's the way it used to be. Now they're doing this whole native thing where it's like their AFX are now available as audio plugins uh, that you don't need the hardware for. Anyone could kind of get them. I think there's about 38 different plugins that they've ported into native so far. And I think they sound really, really cool. Really cool sounds we can get out of it. So we're gonna be like messing around with sounds today. We're gonna see what they have uh, available to us. Uh, and uh, since there's like a lot of them, I'm just gonna focus on some that kind of stuck out to me as I was playing with my guitar, right? <laughs> Now that sound you're hearing is my Fender Telecaster with the J-Mod signature pickups and string joy strings. I'm going into a Bad Cat Hot Cat. And then uh, for my cab sounds, I'm using a uh, Two Notes Torpedo Captor X. So that's actually going directly into my interface. And this is the sound you're hearing right now. Beautiful sound. <laughs> I think that sounds lovely. So let's go see if these plugins can take it to the next level. Uh, this is what we have over here. I'm in Cubase and you can see the Antelope Audio. We have some uh, compressors over here. We got some EQ stuff, modulation, and uh, some preamps, all right? So uh, it doesn't matter if you're like a pro or like just a, 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 like a beginner. Uh, there's, they could get really complex stuff. They can keep it really simple. There's a lot of flexibility. So let's start off with like building up like a cool channel strip. We need like a preamp sound, an EQ, and the compressor. That's what we're gonna do. So right now, the preamp I'm using is super, super clean. It's like very pristine. <laughs> There's no real character to it, really neutral. So let's get like the character of a vintage preamp. There's two that I really like actually. This one is called the BA31. Check this out here. I think it's based off of an old like RCA preamp. Let's hear what it sounds like with it off. On. So just a little bit, it's not like a heavy thing. You don't want to add too much. It's just to give a little bit of um, touch and texture to your sound. The one I really, really have been digging lately is this one over here, the RD47. I think it's because uh, what they're going for is the sound of those like uh, Chandler Red 47s preamps that you'd see in Abbey Road. And I don't know, you know, when you say Abbey Road, I immediately like it. So <laughs> it might just be because it looks cool. I don't know, but I just like my go-to preamp lately. <laughs> It 
This is uh, oh, let's get it down a little bit. Get the gain staging just right. Here with it off. And on. Really, really lovely. See, it's just a touch, touch. We're not going crazy. Now let's get some of our EQ going over here. So uh, we do have a lot of different EQ options. Uh, there's like uh, the BAE, which is kind of a Nevish style uh, pre or sorry, EQ. So like you can even see like just the look of it. Very familiar. <laughs> You can even like highlight a frequency. Let's go to like 1.6K. You can hear that in mid A. I think that sounds actually cool. You can even highlight the presence a little bit. There's also a couple different other ones that they have here. Uh, this is like a Neumann style one. Uh, you could even get like the pull tech and actually that's what we're gonna go. We're gonna keep it real simple. I don't wanna go super overboard. This is just a really useful one if you, especially if you really like the sound of your guitar. That's a nice neutral point. And then we're just gonna take off a little bit of the lows, and then we're gonna take off just the, the ultra, ultra highs, just like the fizz, really. That's all I'm doing. Go to the neck pickup, and let's hear what we got here. You could just hear, this is off. And this is on. Now, if you're like playing this on your phone, you're not gonna hear that difference. All I'm doing is I'm just getting rid of some of the muck. You're gonna hear the big difference, especially uh, when we start playing with like bass and drums. It's just enough to clean it all up. So you can tell I'm not doing big steps. I'm just trying to get that, the character of these things. What's really nice about the old gears, it just it imparts a little bit of flavor to your sound. You don't need to go overboard, all right? So uh, we're gonna go, now I'm gonna go overboard <laughs> because we're going to compressor, which is like my favorite kind of like plug-in to play with. Uh, they have a lot of different compressors. You know, they have like the classic um, LA-2A, where's, oh here, Dynamics. There's the LA-2A, um, the Fairchild. Oh, look at this one, Stay Loving. This is a cool one. Uh, this is going for like the, uh, um, what, like the Ver uh, the very Mew kind of thing. Let's check this out here. kind of sound. But my go-to compressor is the 1176. I don't know, something about it. I just love the sound of it. Let's go over here, 1176, oh my goodness. Go to get the ratio at around four. And we're gonna go, yeah, pretty, let's go like on the faster side of things here. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, now it's coming alive. Now you can hear when I take it away. It has a nice sound, but it doesn't have that karate chop. So let's go a little bit off. Hey, that's pretty exaggerated. We're going crazy, so let's just back it up. Let's get just a touch of it. That's a lovely sound. You can tell once I kind of like lay off the attack just a touch, it starts kind of creaming up a little bit, smoothing out. Nice and delicate. That's good. That's a wonderful, wonderful place. All of a sudden, it just seems a little bit more alive, a little bit more direct. It's wonderful, wonderful stuff. Now, that's kind of the heart, I feel, of the effects that they have, but they also have ported uh, a couple really nice things over here. Um, let's go into, uh, well, let's play with the modulation, eh? Um, they have this, yeah, this tremolo over here. Let's see what we got here. Well, let's put the tremolo after the compressor, uh, so that way uh, the compressor is not going to smooth out our amplitude. There's a very speed which kind of changes the speed after a couple cycles. Let's add a little bit of uh, reverb from the app here. That's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful effect. Uh, one of my personal favorite modulations that they have is actually this one right over here. Uh, it is called the Adaptive Vibrato. I think this sounds absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Let's 
Let's add a little delay to that mix. See what happens over here. Uh, they have like a memory man style delay. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, there it is. Memory cat brigade. <laughs> Filter is kind of like an EQ. time for one more let's go see here oh flanger ottawa let's see the ottawa here the distortion channel in the app. But I still, I still love that vibrato. All right, so now that we got some pretty cool sounds on the uh, on the on the go here, let's go like play a little bit of like a drum bass thing. Let's go see what we got over here. I think I came up with like a pretty stock funk sound. Let's see what it sounds like.
those are the Antelope Audio Synergy Core native plugins. Well, that is it. That is the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to the page if you haven't done so already. Check out the links in the description below. That being said, I'll see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.